My name is Andy Avram and I'm a naturalist here at Lake Metro Parks and today we're going to talk about spring breeding amphibians, those frogs and salamanders that migrate through the forest and come to vernal pools like the one behind me uh, to do their breeding activity. Let's see what we can find. Our spring breeding amphibians use vernal pools, which are temporary wetlands in our forest. Most pools dry out part of the year, but some are permanent. The important part is these wetlands don't have fish that will eat the salamander eggs and larvae. As temperatures start to warm, one of the first amphibians you might hear are spring peepers. These small tree frogs have an explosive peep that fills the wetlands. They only grow to around one inch long and most have an X on their back. Other early frogs are the wood frogs. These forest dwelling frogs can be frozen like a popsicle and still survive when they thaw out. When calling for mates in the wetlands, they sound like a bunch of quacking ducks. To secure a mate, the male grasps a female and rides piggyback in what is called amplexus. This poor girl has a few too many boys grabbing onto her, but don't worry, she is still in perfect health. Red-spotted newts are a type of salamander often seen in wetlands. This picture shows a male and female in amplexus, while another male looks on. As juveniles, this species is bright red, lives in the forest for up to seven years, and the teenage newts are called red Fs. But most people get excited to look for the big salamanders, especially spotted salamanders. These amphibians live underground in the forest and only emerge in the spring to breed. What are the prime conditions to look for salamanders? Up here in Lake County, the migration usually takes place in March, but possibly late February or early April during exceptional years. You want the nighttime temperatures to be around 50 degrees, and it does need to be after dark, so wait until night, and you need rain. No rain, no salamanders. There may be some snow left on the ground, However, the salamanders are pretty cold tolerant and will just crawl over it like this Jefferson salamander is. The ponds might even be mostly ice, but if the edges are melted like this pond here, they will still go into the ponds and commence the mating season under the ice. But what are the species you might see around here? The Jefferson salamander is a large, or, a large gray or grayish brown salamander that is fairly common in Lake County. This salamander will breed in colder weather than the spotted salamanders and some migrate in January or February. The smallmouth salamander is very rare in Lake County, only found in a couple ponds. They look like a Jefferson salamander, but have a very short snout and short toes. Like the Jefferson, they are slightly earlier breeding salamanders than the spotteds. Spotted salamanders, however, are the most common species in Lake County, and hundreds of them may be seen migrating to certain areas. These large, colorful salamanders grow up to 8 inches long and have two rows of yellow polka dots on their backside. Once in the water, they form large congregations of males and females that dance around to breed. A few days later, the eggs are laid underwater attached to sticks. After a few weeks, the eggs hatch and the larvae live and grow in the pond, feeding on small invertebrates until June or August when they absorb their gills, turn into land-dwelling juveniles, and live on land until they mature a few years later. If you do decide to go out looking for amphibians, there are a few things to keep in mind. Amphibians have porous skin, so minimize handling, and only with wet hands. Make sure you don't have any bug spray or lotion on your hands, as they will absorb the chemicals and they may get sick or die. If you look under a rock or log for a salamander or a frog, always put the rock back how you found it, and make sure not to crush any living creature. Always make sure you let the amphibian go after you're done looking at it. Please do not take them home. And of course, have fun. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today on amphibians, and hopefully we'll see you out at some of our parks sometime.